Hey guys, Ryan here from Turk Music, and I've got the M32 uh, from Native Instruments here that I'm going to be um, taking you guys through. Um, before we get into how to use this thing, let's uh, take a look at the functions that are on it. So right here in the middle, we have um, eight rotary knobs. These are touch sensitive rotary knobs on the left side of the controller over here we have a shift button um, it's got a scale button arpeggiator undo quantize ideas that's for when you're using machine loop uh, metronome button tempo um, your transporter over here it's got your octave switch up and down and then you've got your two touch strips which is your pitch bend and your modulator over on this side, you've got your navigation knob. This knob is for navigating um, your DAW. It's got browse, plugin, track instance. 32 micro keys. Um, a lot of guys don't really like uh, micro keys, but if you're using something like this, you're not necessarily trying to, you know, play so many octaves on your piano at the same time you're just laying down your major your main chords maybe recording um you know some lead lines or some bass lines or even drum patterns and and and, and things like that so that's what this little guy is used for what's also cool about this little guy is how small it is um it's also quite thin as you can see very 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 thin um, this is very different from the complete control a25 MIDI controller the a25 is much bigger than this one um, it's also got full-size keys other than that everything looks the same except the a25 has actual wheels here so it's got a modulation wheel and a pitch bend wheel not a touch strip uh, the touch strip can become a little bit um, irritating because once you just touch that by mistake it activates and then you know it might mess up what you're doing but you just have to be careful not to touch that too much the m32 fits in most bags small bags um, so it's very cool easy to carry around if you need to pick up your laptop pop it in your laptop bag Pop your M32 in there as well with your cable. Be on your way. Go to a friend's place. Plug in. Set up. Do your thing. Get out of there. It's a really cool portable little controller. Okay. It uh, has what's called NKS, which is Native Control Standard, which allows you to control most plugins uh, using the keyboard alone without having to touch your mouse or even look at your screen. Um, it's got a little display over here, which gives you very important information as you navigate. So what I've got here is just a basic um, project. Um, that's my main audio track, and that's my master. So now I want to insert a MIDI or software instrument. A pre-selected M complete control here because that's what I want to use for the purposes of this video so I'm going to create that track and that's my complete control and now when I press the browse button I can scroll through the different sounds or instruments or plugins so here I've got all instruments Elishki's piano contact drum selection vintage keys quite a few different ones so I'm gonna go ahead and choose Vintage keys. Okay. So there. It's 
let's come down to types. Uh, vintage keys only has piano and keys, so select piano and keys. That allows me to go down to the different types of piano and keys. I'm going to go for EP because that's my favorite. Sample based. These are all the different EPs that come in vintage keys. I'm going to choose this one. What's really cool about this little guy is that you can get into the details of your plugin. You can actually use these this keyboard to control uh, edit certain parameters um, of your plugin. See. Very, very cool, very useful. You can also change plugins using your preset buttons. Makes it very, very useful. You can also obviously record, stop, play, and it'll respond in your software. And that is basically the M32, very, very useful little keyboard.